Good evening. Um, I thought I'd do a bit of a sort of, you know, just rambling diary entry, really. Uh, classic video sort of vlog thing. And it's been a funny day. Um, I've been a bit fed up today, to be honest. And, you know, you get days like this when you're a bit fed up. And what really makes me more fed up about being fed up than just being fed up, if you can see what I mean, is that I've got loads of things I could be doing. So it seems like a not very productive day. I mean, I'm reading a book. Yeah, let's grab this. This, this nice programming and Ada book. Um, just trying to, you know, best myself a bit, learn a new language or <laughs> learn an old language, although it's not, you know, with the latest editions, it's not that old. Um, it'd be really interesting. It's actually going quite well. I've read about a quarter of the book so far, mostly on a cruise. And it's an interesting language. And I really need to blog a bit more about how that works. Um, Got some stuff I'm sort of hoping to to learn and work on as well. Uh, WebSocket. So I've got hang on, there's an RFC here. Yeah, so <laughs> WebSockets RFC again. Huge bit of stuff to read. Um, you know, there's there's some libraries out there I could play with, or I could write some own stuff. I think you know it's quite an interesting interesting area we can do some stuff with. So you know, trying to learn. But the problem I got today, being fed up, is I can't be asked to do either of those. So it seems like nothing's happened today, but. <sighs> Stuff has happened. Um, what have I done? Well, one of the things we've been having fun with this weekend is my son's been playing around with a Raspberry Pi. And he's been making a um, dash cam type thing. And the problem with most dash cams is they're fiddly to actually get the recordings off them. So he's been working on a box with a Raspberry Pi. Of course, he's had me 3D printing shit. So, uh, hang on. I've got a prototype here. It says go slow on it. So it's, it's a box... Um, there's a connector there for some power pole connectors and a relay and a Raspberry Pi and DC converter and then and then on top there's these things. This this holds the the sort of 38 mil square PCB fisheye cameras. He's got one facing each way and uh, it goes on top. And the idea is that goes on your dashboard. Not ideal because the camera's in the middle. It catches the white edge there. It's not perfect. So that was that was the Mark One. Mark II, a lot higher, camera each side. I didn't finish printing these, it was to test that it printed properly. This one, this one sort of clips in better, it's a bit more solid. But this is all done on 3D printer, and this is the sort of thing I've been doing yesterday and today. Um, and today, well, uh, my, well, the fun thing is, it's not really a very commercial project, what he's doing. <coughs> um, with the time it takes to print the plastic, and if you ever wanted to meet EMC and, and safety and everything else, you'd, you'd be a nightmare to make a product. But his four sisters were all actually quite interested in a, in, in a dash cam. And the nice thing about doing it on the Pi is uh, it records the video when you're driving. It does stills every minute when you're not. Uh, deletes the oldest if you've run out of space. It's even got a button to press to say, shit happened. Let's, let's keep these current videos from like five minutes before and after. And um, the nice thing is, if it gets in range of a known Wi-Fi, it automatically uploads this to a server. So you don't have to think about it. You just drive around, park, drive around, park. And one day when something happens, the video of what happened is already nicely recorded on the server or still on the dash cam. And, uh, and it's, you know, it's quite, quite cool. So that's what you can hear in the background, the 3D printer running. It's printing yet more bits of, well, this one says G-Pro on it. This is for Georgina. Uh, screw fixings on the side and... Okay, it just holds one of these cameras. And this is what goes on top now. So my latest iteration has mounting fixings on top. So despite having a day of being fed up and not doing anything, I've kind of done some useful things today with a 3D printer running all day. Um, I've also had fun with email today. At, at the office, um, Jim is working on some slight snags with indexing IMAP folders. So I've had a really weird deja vu day with email where every time I load an email... See it, read it, file it, delete it, whatever, and it pops up again as a new email. Um, I'm pretty sure he thinks he's got to the bottom of that, thankfully. Um, the patio's going well. We've got builders in doing that, so that's been fun today. Um, so even though sort of it's been an odd day and I've been fed up, there's actually quite a lot happened. So that's that's just really you know my day. I really ought to do a bit more about it. Um, I don't know whether people like watching this shit, you know. 
will people actually watch a video of me just rambling on a bit about my day? Should I do one every day? I don't know. Life, um, day in the life of a um, CEO of an ISP. So, but um, yeah, you know, that's life. Anyway, cheers. I'll show this video up and see what you think.